morning seekers and welcome to my channel well this morning i woke up super early on a saturday but it was worth it because i went to the um, miami history museum it was a project that i did with my friends it was kind of fun and i went to the museum and i met other kids from other schools and i presented the project we were supposed to interview any person with the history in miami and they were going to tell us what their experience was like and then we were supposed to um basically create something just creative to show to um show that interview it could have been in a powerpoint or on a um poster board or we could have did a skit we decided to do a poster board and it was pretty cool i had a lot of fun i saw some interesting things i had fun um they gave us a sticker you know and um we got these little bags they fed us it was really nice it was a great experience um if you ever come to miami i do recommend you go there because they have some really interesting things about the history of miami and that was my morning, but without further ado. Hello, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I have arrived and I am here to stay. Now, I do not know why it took me so long to jump onto the Hogwarts Express, but here I am. <laughs> but um, I came home from school and all the. Um, school that's how long I was there I didn't get home from the Miami History Museum until three but I came home from there and my sister was watching the first movie and I just sat down and watched it with her and I could not believe it took me so long to watch this movie I did not expect to fall in love I've heard about Harry Potter and I like I thought it was cool you know I didn't really understand what all the rave was about because I never watched it myself but now I fully understand and I am so happy that I'm watching it and I'm on the second movie now. It's The Chamber of Secrets. Um, HBO is playing all of them on a movie marathon. So if you have HBO, make sure you tune in. But I'm sure you can always go find any of the movies at your local Target, Walmart, any place. Um, you can watch it. I don't know if they have it on Netflix. I think I, I kind of doubt it. But they probably have it on On Demand. I mean, they have it on demand. If you have cable, you know, just I just really recommend Harry Potter to anybody. It's really worth it the watch it's gonna take you a long time considering there's eight movies and all the movies are about like two and a half hours long my sister told me a really cute story how her and her cousin would go see every single movie together any on the exact day it came out like that was i don't know it just made this watching this and this experience even better it's really worth the watch okay so the first movie is called the sorcerer's stone but um, it's actually called the Philosopher's Stone in every other country except for the United States. Um, I got that from geek.com, which I thought was a really cool fun fact. It's, the United States is so weird. But anyway, um, there's the Sorcerer's Stone. Movie 2 is The Chamber of Secrets. That's the movie I'm watching currently. Um, right here, I started listing the Harry Potter movies. But I guess you can see that online and you didn't really need me to do that for you. So, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, these movies are pretty long. It's probably going to take me all weekend to watch other movies, but I am determined. Um, I actually I actually was going to start reading Harry Potter first. I, I swore I was going to read all the books before I watched the movies. But no. Um, but this is the first book. I thought it would be really cool to start off with this gigantic book of the first Harry Potter book. Um, this one is in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I got this from Target. I don't remember exactly how much it costs, but it's pretty cool. It has pictures. See? <laughs> I read for I read books without pictures, but I thought this was really cool. It's big. It's like a little storybook, except for Harry Potter. And it's really cool because Harry Potter is magical. This is as far as I got, and then I stopped. <laughs> I haven't opened this until today and when I started reading a Harry Potter movie but I'm definitely gonna read it um it was everybody knows um Harry Potter was created by J.K. Rowling but it's this was illustrated by Jim K. as you can see here and it's a really cool book I really definitely recommend you get it they also have the Chamber of Secrets and um I don't know if they, I think they just have those two, Sorcerer's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm so happy to be a Harry Potter fan now. If you have freak out, send me websites, Tumblr pages, Instagram pages, Twitter pages, anything. Just anything so I can just delve deeper into this fandom.
Sorry about, you know, me not posting much. I've been studying for all my AP tests coming up. I hope you guys are doing well, those of you who take AP classes. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, share, and comment, and bye!